Hey, what's up my fellow skill stacker? Would you like to get paid $1,000 an hour for something that you're doing right now for free? I'm serious, you can make $1,000 an hour and potentially even more for something that you're already doing for free. In this video, we're gonna cover how to get paid to pitch. And I'm gonna teach you all the P's of how to get paid to pitch. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. This is gonna be really valuable. Make sure you have a pen and paper to take notes. This is something you're gonna to wanna to write it down. So I wanna start first by telling you a little bit of a story. I started my agency back in 2015, Adrian Graphics LLC. Uh, I actually incorporated way earlier than that, was doing consulting, but my agency itself, my brick and mortar with my team, my office space, all that stuff actually started in 2015. And when I first started, I would bring in clients from Google Maps and Google Search and Facebook and all the different areas, right? And I'd get people sitting in front of me and because I had a lot of experience in marketing and design and branding and websites and SEO and had a really, really good track record at that time of having made millions of dollars for companies, I had some good authority. And with that authority, I would get these people to sit in front of me. And when they sat in front of me, I would share my ideas and my visionaries, my strategies, I would talk to them. And I would spend like 45 minutes, an hour, sometimes an hour and a half. I think there were a few meetings where I would spend two hours and I literally would close maybe one or two at best out of like a hundred people. I'm not exaggerating, one or two out of a hundred people and I kept wondering to myself, why am I not making any money? Why are these deals not closing? Like I'm giving away like such good stuff. And so it was at that time where I actually brought in an outside mentor and I said, hey, I don't understand what's going on. I'm getting deals, I'm getting business, but the amount of business that I'm getting and all the different challenges I have, I'm just not really able to sustain and I'm not getting the growth that I want. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. And he said, dude, you're giving away the most valuable thing that you have for free. Of course they're not gonna buy anything for you. You just gave them everything that they needed right up front. They can go somewhere now for cheap and do the fulfillment side, the integration side of what you're trying to do. Because what I was trying to do as an agency owner, right, doing graphic design work, branding work, logo work, website work, SEO, paid advertising, all the things that we did, I was trying to sell the fulfillment services and offering all that consulting for free. When the consulting is the, literally the most valuable piece, coming up with marketing plans and brand strategies is the most valuable piece because without that, you're just throwing darts blindfolded and hoping to hit a bullseye and your chances are slim to none. So when I shifted my mentality and said, he said, you're gonna start getting paid upfront for your strategy sessions. But what you need to do first is you need to set up the right process. And so I started doing that and what happened is through this process is I was doing my initial pitch and, and showing them how I could help them I would send them the proposal, and you guys can relate to this, I'd send them a proposal, and then a week would go by, two weeks would go by, I'd follow a bunch of times, never hear back, and then the people that actually did call me back, I'd be like, what's going on? Are we gonna move forward? They're like, oh, you know, it's just out of my budget. Oh, it's just out of my budget. Oh, it's just out of my budget. And I'm like, why is my stuff out of there? And I'm like, let's be real here. I was charging like three to five to $10,000 at the time to where I charge two, three, four, five times more than that now, right? So I was offering insane prices, but they were still telling me, oh, it's out of my budget. It wasn't out of their budget. I already gave them everything that they could possibly want and they were gonna go out and figure it out on their own. And so when I shifted that and said, okay, I'm gonna change my process and I'm gonna start charging for this. What I did is I shrunk my consultations from one hour, one and a half hours or whatever, down to 15 minute discovery calls. And through that 15 minute discovery call, I have a process that I take them through, which I'm gonna share with you guys today. that was very succinct, very clear, and it qualified them on that call whether they were a good fit for me or not. So no more of spending hours and meeting with clients and putting together proposals and following up with pitches and like trying to close the proposals and trying to chase down your clients. I don't do any of that anymore. That does not, that is not part of my business model. It's not part of my practices. Have I done it from time to time when there's an exception, right? When somebody refers me somebody that I know is successful, that I'm qualified, they're qualified and they're ready to go. Sure, I'll give them more time for free. I do this for friends, I do this for close colleagues. But for the most part, that is the exception, it's not the rule. So I don't want you spending hours trying to chase down one client. They should be coming to you. And so today, the biggest thing that I wanna share with you is the process of pitching and actually pitching to win versus pitching and losing. So the first P in the process of pitching to win is positioning yourself as an authority. That means getting case studies, getting reviews, getting testimonials, like video testimonials, I'm putting those all over your website, getting onto podcasts, anywhere that you can build your social currency, your social proof, and show your track record of everything that you've done that's been successful, that is the first P. You need to position yourself as an authority, as a consultant, and not just as a 
marketing agency owner, graphic designer, web designer. That is, you gotta get rid of that identity and start to position yourself as a consultant. That is step one, position. Step two of pitching to win is your process. You need to have a succinct process. So like I said before, my first initial starting place is the discovery call. I do a 15 minute discovery call, not 20 minutes, not 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And it's really important that you value your time and your potential client's time, the prospect's time, to make sure that you're staying on track. In that 15 minute call, I start off with, hey, so kind of give me your vision. What, what's the whole vision for what you're doing? Once they give me the download of that, I kind of got an idea of how big they're thinking, whether they're thinking small, whether they're thinking big, and I'm like, okay, kind of fill them out. Okay, so what are the roadblocks? What are st what's standing in your way from you accomplishing that vision? They're like, oh, you know, I'm a little bit limited on funds. Uh, I don't have enough team members, and I just, I don't know anything about sales and marketing. I'm like, perfect. That gives me now a really good idea of where they're at along their journey, and if they're limited on funds, that might be a problem. Well, what do you mean when you say you're limited on funds? I mean, I'm just, cash bootstrapping this business. I have no loans, no capital really, no money saved up. I'm just kind of going day to day. I'm just surviving right now. Okay, I can understand that. That for me in my head, I'm going, well, this might be somebody I'm gonna help and try to help them get to the next step so they can afford me. But right now I'm just gonna sit here and try to add value to them in this 15 minutes and kind of educate them and get them out of this poverty mindset. And then I go, the last thing that I say is, hey, what is your 12 month goal? Like what is the next 12 months? Like we have success, let's just say we're working together and 12 months from now, where do you wanna be in 12 months? And based on that answer between vision, the roadblocks that they have and their 12 month goal, I now know whether they're gonna be a fit for me or not and if I wanna work with them or not. And if I do wanna work with them or not, I close out that conversation by saying, hey look, I do consulting, I would love to sit down with you for an hour, maybe even an hour and a half and go through my process, my consulting process with you, some things that are gonna be deeply impactful for you and your business, but also very personally, you're gonna get impacted on this. What I do is this is a thousand dollar session to meet with me for the hour. If at any point in that session, you're not satisfied, you don't think this was worth a thousand dollars and it's just not a good fit for you, I will ref just let me know, be honest with me, and I will refund your money, we'll shake hands, and we'll part as friends, no questions asked. Takes away all of the risk. No questions asked, I'll refund your money, we'll shake hands, and we'll part as friends. That completely disarms them. They go, okay, cool. If they can afford me or not, that is gonna be this. If they say, yes, I can do that, perfect. I send them a Calendly link with a thousand dollar fee connected to my Stripe or my PayPal. They pay the thing, boom. Now I've got a booked consultation that I'm getting paid for. Which leads me to the next P, which is actually preparing. You need to do some preparation and some work in advance. You just got paid a thousand dollars for an hour and a half session. You can afford to take 15 minutes out of your day and research their website, look at their social media pages, look at the content that they're creating, look at their YouTube channels. You need to be looking at other things around their business so you can be prepared to know what to expect when they come in. You can send them a questionnaire for them to fill out in advance even to make sure that you have all the information that you need in advance. So make sure you're doing that due diligence up front and you're getting prepared. The next part to this is delivering on that promise. So now you're gonna do the consultation, you're gonna sit down with them, you need to have a clear process. And if you don't have a clear process for what that consultation looks like, whether it's branding, marketing strategy, whatever it is that you're gonna do with a consult on, this is where you're gonna probably need my help. I would lean into my content, look at my other content that I do, and you can connect with me here on Facebook. There's a link down in the description to get with me, but I can teach you this stuff. This is where I can teach you my frameworks and my processes in order to do this with your clients to sit down and knock their socks off. You have to deliver on that promise and knock their socks off and make them sit there and go, wow, this was worth like $5,000. This is gonna change my entire life. If you're not doing your consult and leading them with that outcome at the end, it's not gonna be successful. So you really need to deliver on that promise. A promise delivered is very, very important here. The last piece of this that I wanna share with you is taking them from their pain to profit. So when you do that first consultation, the goal is to get clarity for them around these different areas and struggles, situation, problem, what's the implication, what's the need. You're gonna be able to examine this and understand what the value is of you solving that problem for them. And when you do that, you're gonna lead them to their next pain point. They then buy a branding package from me, which is $5,000, $10,000, $15,000, then that branding package is then going to lead them to their next problem. Okay, how do we implement this brand with a marketing plan? And then you got another five, 10, 15, $20,000 for the marketing plan, right? So being able to each problem, each meeting and each consultation leads them to the next problem to the point where now they've got the full business and the full framework all built out and they don't even, other than you doing fulfillment work, they don't really need you other than checking in with them every quarter, maybe once a month and just saying, hey, 
How are we making progress? How are things going? Where do you feel like your roadblocks are? And just continuing to try to be a support person for them and not charging them any extra money for that, but just being able to show up and serve them the way that you've served them since the very beginning. So this is how I get paid to profit as I do consulting. I sell the consulting up front. I'm charging anywhere between 500, 1,000, and even $1,500 an hour for that consulting work, depending on the client. And then when they come to me for the fulfillment work, they're already qualified. And I'm not wasting my time giving proposals and sending out estimates to people who can't afford me. So this is what I got for you guys today. I hope this was super impactful, super helpful. It's changed my life and I'm hoping it can change yours. If you need support, you need community, check out the Instagraphics Pro Network down low, below or reach out to me personally. I'm easy to connect with and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. I'm Adrian Boysell and as always, keep looking up.